What's up, Bonskas, Kronskas? Just so y'all know, I do a whole lot of videos. I just don't upload them. <laughs> I did the one this morning when I woke up. And it was about this uh, hair stuff for my roots. Alright, so you see? I should have to, uh, have to show y'all the video this morning. I had just woken up and I was like, ooh, my grace. And I've got this spray. <laughs> That you spray on your roots. Like it reminds me of that stuff that you use. So you could sell this after. I didn't do very good right there. It came off. Um, my video this morning. Um, running some errands. It's beautiful. It's 241. I am running some errands. I have got to do a little stocking up. My hair looks so gorgeous. I love Colorado hair. I have to be honest with y'all. <clears throat> it's in my video this morning. I'll send y'all. So I won't go into it. But I love snow. Never lived in it. But I am really happy it is melted. Or melting. My parking lot where I live still has mountains of ice, dirt, snow that you'd be four-wheeling on to get out. It's crazy. Um, There's still some snow remnants in my apartment and stuff. There's not really much around, though. Around where I'm at. I got to run to CVS, pick up my scrippy script, got to run to uh, Murphy's, get my supply of Siggy Poos. Can't wait to see how much they are. It's my first time buying them since, uh, uh, whatever. I don't even know what day it is, so I bought them before January 1st. I know that. I think it's the 16th or something. Anyway, I am getting out and about, running some errands. I think I'm going to go to Dick's Sporting Goods. We don't have an academy here. Um, I want some firewood. I need to find out where to find firewood. Um, uh, 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 what else do I need? Um, I think that's it. I'll stock up on some just little supplies of water and stuff. I think I got enough toilet paper for a while. I'm going up into the CVS drive through. Just wanted to say hi. I'm going to run some errands and then go bit, get Joshy Pookins. We'll go to the grocery store. Ooh. This line is long. There's my laundry mat across the street from my house. So, my CVS is across the street from my house. 24 hour everything. And... 23 hour pharmacy and then my laundry mat is right over there I don't know if you can see it or not but I like it because it's an app on your phone and you go into your phone you have a credit card on it or whatever and you um you pick your washing machine and you put it and you can do like eight loads in one machine and I think it's like seven dollars and then the drawing is like a dollar so, I legit do seven loads. Like, these things are huge. But, um, I can go run errands, and it tells you how much time you have. It tells you if anything's touched or... And they have people that work in there, too. So, anyway, I need to go do that. And that's about it. Grab some water. And that's about it. Already filled up my tank. It's Saturday. Josh and I had a little Bible study last night. Ephesians. It was really weird. So I have a bunch of books from North Hills Community Church when they shut down. Um, let me get my stuff out. Um, in North Hills Community Church when they shut down, they had all these books sitting there, and I was there some the last days, and um. My Colorado driver's license. I don't think I sent you all the thing with that. Hold on. Where's my license number? I don't like it. Because I got all dressed up for that crap, dude. And it'd be black and white. I don't even mm, look fat, and my hair doesn't look as cute. I even did busted out a curling iron for that crap. One of my cards is... Oh, I need that driver's license. <laughs> One of my cards is uh, like a bunch of money off. 
CVS or a bunch of money back. All right. So anyway, so I had mentioned to Josh, let's start doing Friday night Bible study and, um, or let's do a Bible study, pick a night, pick Friday night. And I had went through all my books, have a whole bunch of books, like book study, Bible study books. And there was one on Ephesians, which I love Ephesians. And, um, I've never done this with Josh. The Bible studies I do, you don't have like a book. I've done those a lot in the past, but it's been a very long time. And there was three of these. So, um, Josh came in and I was like, Hey, which one do you want to do? And I said, I have three of these. And he's like, yeah, I'll see that. So I'm talking to Dan and I'm out on the patio and I'd ordered a pizza and, um, because I told him this would be like a special thing. We eat pizza in the living room and what, do a Bible study, maybe watch a movie or something. But, um, so we, uh, we go out to do it and it's like, the crazy thing is I start describing what the book of Ephesians is about to him and about Paul. And I ask him about Paul. I was like, tell me what you know about Paul and all that, which I know he knows, but, um, it started a little dry and um there was this book like we're reading this book and I'm like well, I didn't know I was gonna be just reading this book for a while and then after we read a bunch it starts going into who Paul is and what this is the Church of Ephesians and Ephesia and all that so I was like well crap I didn't mean to do all that so then it had questions um and we answered some of them right then and the other ones I said, you know, let's do this as homework. Um, a question about the culture of Christianity and where it came from. Um, uh, someone in your life or someone that you know that you've seen a transformation. And he said, no one. Um, I was like, why don't you take some time to think about this? Another question that was really good was taking off the old self and putting on the new self. What does that mean? And when you're in Christ, put, taking off the old self, putting on the new self, what does that mean? And Monica from CR small group leadership went into, went into effect. And I was like, so tell me what that means to you. And I was quiet because when I'm in this role, I'm very good at being quiet. And he would say something and I'd be able like, tell me more what that means to you or give me an example of what that means to you. And, um, and then it said, what happens to the old self? And he kind of, he went into some good details. It was really good. And for me, I'm like, my old self is like on my back, like a monkey, you know, I've got to fight it and I've got to fight it, you know? And I liked his answers about what does it mean to have the new self and what does it feel like? One of the questions we have to come back and I said, I want you to take this and I got him a, a journal thing and a pen. I want you to take this and I want you to elaborate on an example or something of in your life, what does your life look like? as a new self and what are some examples of the old self and um anyway I'm, I'm getting the question wrong but it was actually pretty good you know it didn't get deep into Ephesians yet I think it's starting it's getting the basis of kind of how to study the Bible um which I think we both can use you know I mean we can and just reading the Bible is really good too but I thought it was important that we understood what it was why it was um, what he did, um, who God used, you know, that Paul of all people, that God used him to spread the gospel. He has, I think, more books written in the Bible than anyone. This man murdered Christians. He murdered God's children. So anyway, without getting into all that, I was real passionate about it. I was like, of all people, God used this broken man, broken, I mean, murdering his children. Anyway, I didn't do it like that, but you know. But uh, it was really cool. You know, we had a good time. And, and it was funny because when I got off the phone with Dan, the books were sitting in the living room. I was like, anyway, I think I'm pulling up to CVS here. I love you guys. I got to send you all my video from this morning. It was hilarious. I had just woke up. And I was thinking about y'all. I love you. Mwah.